Hi, my name is Tom Prouse and I'm a Data School Consultant at the Information Lab. This session is going to be all about the ranking features within Tableau Prep. For this demonstration, I'll be using some mocked up sales data where we have different salespeople, different regions, and then the total amount that they've sold. So let's just say we want to rank our salespeople on the amount of sales which they have made. So first of all, I can click on these three dots here and then go to create calculated field. And as you can notice here, we've got the option to rank. So if I click this, notice how Tableau opens up its really useful visual calculation editor. So this makes ranking really easy to understand. So we have a few different sections within the rank. First, we have the group by. So let's just say I wanted to rank um, each of my sales people within each of the regions. So if I choose region, notice how down in the bottom here with my data table, each of the ranks restarts for each region. So for example, we've got the east, so we've got one and two for Tom and Steph. And then again, it restarts for the central region. However, for this example, I just want to rank all of my salespeople across all regions. Therefore, I can right click on region and click remove field. Notice how the rank is now across all regions and just for the salespeople. We also have a few different options on how to rank. So if I click rank here, we have the three different choices. Our first rank, um, this just assigns a number to each of the rows. Um, so if, for example, they have the same value going down here, so Jonathan and Carl both have 15,000. Notice how they get both are ranked with the same number. And then the next line skips a row um, six skips a number to number three for Tom. Um, this is a, the dense rank is a similar. However, this doesn't skip. So they get assigned the same number of one, but then the next one is two. So this doesn't skip on any additional rows. The final choice is percentile rank. So again, this gives each of the people a percentile instead of uh, a actual rank number. So for this example, I'm just going to choose rank. Notice how my ranks here, if I wanted to change the uh, the order of my rank from for, for ascending or descending, I can click on the Z to A button, which changes it to A to Z. And notice how my rank is now from low to high. So that's the first way of ranking using the visual editor, which is super useful. So if I press done, notice how within the changes um, pan, changes pane on the left-hand side, we can click and Tableau has created the calculation which it is doing behind the scenes as part of the visual um, calculation editor. So, however, if I wanted to say use a unique rank, that wasn't one of the options. So I can choose create calculated field, custom calculation, and we can actually rewrite the calculation. So if I call this unique rank, um, and now I'm going to use the same syntax as Tableau have used over here. So first I want to order by, and notice how this pre, um, predetermines for you. So you can click there. We've got a curly bracket, order by curly bracket. Next, we want to say, do we want it to be ascending or descending? So we can write, desk for descending. Oops, sorry, first we need to write what we want to order by. So we want to order by sales. So what are we ranking by? We want to rank our sales in a descending order. Then just similar to other analytical calculations and LADs, we want to use the colon. And now this is where we determine what type of rank we want to use. So if I just write normal, the traditional rank, as in the calculation, this is going to create just the same rank, but the opposite way around. However, if I wanted to edit this, I can double click on the calculation. This opens up the calculation again, but let's just say I want a unique rank this time. So instead of using a rank, I'm going to use the row number. So again, Tableau auto fills this for you. So this is now just going to give you a row number, so a, in, in sense, a unique rank. If I press save, 
there's one, two, three, four, five. So each of our different salespeople have a unique rank. So this is super useful and Tableau have um, created a lot of documentation which can be found in the link in the description. So if you're interested in a bit more of the syntax and the different types of rank, I would highly recommend taking a look at that for, for, for more information. And that covers pretty much everything within the ranking within Tableau Prep. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to our channel and you can also take a look at other analytical calculations within the related video on the fixed LODs.